Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura. Grommets and eyelets have such a nice finished look to them and they're very easy to install. Grommet and eyelets are very, very similar. A grommet has two pieces that go together. An eyelet has one where the back rolls around. The fronts look very similar. The backs look a little different. The grommet has that second piece. The eyelet, that's where those pieces come over into the back. But they're both installed in a very similar manner. This is the eyelet. So that bottom metal rolls over to the back. And that's that rollover. Grommets have the two pieces, bottom and top. There is the bottom and that's the top. Most of the packages that you buy for grommets or eyelets, you're going to have a tool inside and it is a two-piece tool. One piece has a little barrel end and that has an actual hole. That is going to make the hole. This is a little end that's going to crush those pieces together or roll the edges to the other side. You can use these tools that come with the package or you can get a pair of pliers that are designed to crush that area together. It has a special plate to make those edges roll onto the other side. And the pliers often come with two different settings. One that's going to be for the eyelets and grommets and one that will do snaps. I'm going to cover both ways and show you how easy it is to install them. You are going to need a hammer and a very strong surface in order to do the first step, which is making a hole. I have an old cutting mat that I use, and you can use wood or one of these plastic surfaces. The first thing we're going to do is put the hole in the fabric. We're going to need that tool that has that hole in the middle of it. One side will have a hole and the other side is flat. That hole will match your package of grommets or eyelets. So if you buy a different size, this is going to fit with the package that you have. You're going to need a hammer and a good strong surface. And you're going to take this and you're just going to hammer down until you make a hole. If you haven't made the hole all the way, you can just take a very small pair of snips and clean off all of the edges. The longer shaft is the front. So in this case, I have a black grommet and a gold eyelet. Once the holes are made, you're going to just put those top pieces in the top part of your fabric and they're going to be able to stick out all the way. The next, we'll be using that secondary tool and it has one end that sort of has this round shape on it and then the flat end. This end is going to be for the hammer. This is the tool that's going to roll or puncture those la layers together. Be sure to use that hard surface again. Take this right over top and hammer it down. As you hammer, that eyelet is going to roll over to the back side. You can also use the pliers to put that eyelet on. Your pliers will have an end. You're going to be able to take that and just flip it into that position so that the two are lined up. This end is the back, this is the top. I'm going to be able to take that top piece, it's going to fit in there, and that little plunger piece is going to go in that hole. Just squeezing that together, you can feel that it rolls over, so it's pushed all of those edges to the outside. The grommet works the same way. The longer post is the right side. The back piece looks very similar to the front piece. However, it's a little bit bigger and that little post is smaller. The posts are going to go together. So post, both posts end are going to go in, which means you'll have that clean finish on the back. And you put it right over top. Using that same tool, you're just going to place it over top and hammer it down. Same idea, the round piece is going to be the top. This piece with the little post out of it is going to be the back. So I have the front 
and the back pieces and just squeeze. That inside post has now rolled over along the back. They look very much the same on the front side. The back side is just slightly different. In this case, the whole size is even the same. This size is four millimeters or three sixteenths of an inch. And once they're on, they're very, very strong. So I always like to test first. I'll use the fabric that I'm using, the interfacing that I'm using, and I make a sample. That way, I'm sure to see what it looks like before I put it on the item. We usually associate grommets and eyelets for a purpose, something that has that hole that you need to put something in the hole. However, they can be used just for decorative. You can have them on your clothing as decorations. You can also put them on your quilts as decorations. They're a lot of fun to use and there's so many different sizes and a lot of different color options. Thank you for joining me today on Sew Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and as always, come on back. Let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.